Dr. Scott Kilberg, the Video Foot Doc, here with another video for you on all things foot and ankle. Today I'm going to talk about a condition called a plantar fibroma. Now essentially this is one of the most common benign masses that one can find inside the foot itself. Um, there is a tissue on the bottom of the foot called the plantar fascia, which is sort of a broad strap-like tissue that runs from the heel to the ball of the foot. And this tissue is sort of a hard, rubbery uh, type of fibrous tissue. Um, what can often form on this tissue is a thickening of this fascia uh, and uh, formation of something called a fibroma or a plantar fibromatosis. Um, this essentially is a mass or a lump that forms in, within this tissue that one can feel when they run their fingers along the arch or the bottom of the foot and in uh, certain cases can also be felt while you're walking. Now this lump can start off fairly small and there could be numerous of them. Uh, but they can also grow quite large and in doing so can become quite painful because you're walking uh, on a mass or a lump uh, or even the mass or lump itself can push into uh, nerve tissue or sensitive type of tissue that is uh, adjacent to where this mass sits. As I said, this condition is generally benign, uh, but because of the nature of the pain that's associated with it, it is often removed surgically uh, to relieve the pain. Uh, there are non-surgical techniques that can help, including padding and arch supports, which can help to decrease uh, strain and inflammation to the plantar fascia itself, and they can help to pad off this, uh, this mass of tissue on the bottom of the foot. However, when this doesn't work, then surgery is needed to remove the mass. Now, little small masses um, that aren't too long, it's uh, fairly easy to get rid of. Uh, an incision is made uh, around the arch itself, and the mass is removed without incident. Um, and usually some borders uh, surrounding one side and the other of the mass are also removed of the plantar fascia to ensure that the uh, fibroma doesn't reoccur again because there is a chance that the, the mass itself can regrow at some point in time. However, when things get complicated um, during uh, procedures in which there is a large mass or a large lump, certain things have to be done in order to keep uh, the foot stable following the surgery. When you have a really long mass or a really large mass that needs to be removed, often uh, a lot of the plantar fascia will have to be uh, removed in order to get rid of the mass as well as uh, some margins on either side of it. Um, unfortunately, this can leave the foot uh, somewhat uh, unstable as the plantar fascia itself is a fairly important tissue that has a lot to do with the stability of the arch. Um, once this tissue is removed, uh, there are newer uh, techniques available that uh, can help to sort of bridge the gap uh, of removed tissue. Uh, there are certain grafts that are being utilized uh, that can uh, basically take the place of the plantar fascia uh, and are essentially sewn into where the plantar fascia or where that fibroma was removed in order to restore its length and uh, eventually uh, the body will sort of incorporate this graft and, and essentially turn it back into uh, plantar fascia tissue itself, essentially um, uh, taking care of the gap that was created by removing the mass itself. Um, unfortunately, as I said, this condition can recur following surgery and other complications can occur including uh, scarring of the tissue underneath the skin in the arch or even scarring of the, of the skin itself. Um, but generally, for the majority of these types of cases, uh, removal uh, is, is uh, fairly easy to do and uh, fairly successful in relieving pain. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, look for more videos on all things foot and ankle on this site as well as others. Or you may check out my website at www.inpodiatrygroup.com. Thank you.